Hello everyone, welcome back to Grounded Thursdays. That's right, just like Minecraft Mondays, this is now Grounded Thursdays. Tune in every week on Thursday for brand new Grounded content. So, quick recap, when last we left off, we went and reactivated Burgle, got a couple of science things done, and now we have our two-story bases. So, real quick, I'm going to clear a little bit of area here. Uh, I also need a couple of pebbles for what I'm going to do. And we are going to go ahead and turn our base camp into an actual base. Ah! Pebble. Pebble, not workbench. There we go. Alright, so to get this situated, we are going to need to set down a pallet. As soon as I find it, there we go. We need a plank pallet. Uh, this is going to make things... Uh, quite a bit easier when we're gathering materials. And this looks a little bit out of the way from the normal traffic of things, so we're going to put it right here. And just to make it wrong button, easier to find when we are at night. Yeah, I've never actually tried to put a sconce on this. Okay, doesn't work. That's all right. Uh, we're going to put this down here. Uh, we need a little bit more sap and some more dry grass. So let's go and gather up some supplies. There's some dry grass. I may not have wanted to do that because the, the latest patch update says that if you remove the... Uh, stems for things, it no longer responds to that stem. Like if I took this piece of grass out, that grass stalk would never regrow. And I kind of want it to regrow, because then I have access to materials more often. So now we need some crude rope. Uh, let's go on a quick gather spree of some plant fibers. So I'm at 5. To make 4 crude rope, I need 12. And 12. Alright, let's run back here. I see a net. You know what? We've got some acorn bits, and we've got an aphid. You know let's go ahead and eat that. Did he just say, mmm, salt? These kids say the weirdest things. You know, above everything else in this game, the one thing that I like most to be added is a craft all button or a slide bar for how many you want to craft. So that if you had to craft, you know, like a, a dozen or two dozen of something, you could just click the craft multi button and then slide it to however many you wanted. Uh, eh, oh well. Hopefully they'll add that in future updates. I'm kind of hoping they do because that would make crafting and building a lot easier. Alright. Uh... I forgot that I got this last time. Let's go ahead and activate that. Gather up some of these. And put them on the pallet. Ah, I keep doing that. Forgot, it's G. G to stack things on the pallet. Hmm, starting to get dark. Alright, so I think what we'll do is we'll just real quick gather up all of this, all these planks, fill up the pallet, and then we will rest, make it day, and then get on with the build. Because it's, it's easier to build, and it's easier to see the build in the daytime. Okay. Uh... See if we can. Is there sap? There is. One and two. There we go. 
So now that we can see where the pallet is at night, that'll make things a little bit easier. But even then, we're still going to rest, make it day. Tiny Pete's ready for some Tiny Pete. Weird. Well, not really weird. They are kids. Okay, ooh, water. Filtration tablets need. Well, that was just maddeningly convenient. All right, so let's eat up some of these acorn bits here. There we go. Back up to full health. Well, full hunger. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna get you. Hold still. Ah, close enough. All right, I hear an ant. Whatever. All right, let's cook the gnat. Uh, let's go and get that weevil too. Some extra food wouldn't hurt. <gasps> and an aphid. Our cup runneth over. Where'd you go? All right, so we don't need food right now, but if we get it cooking, that'll just help us along. That's roasted already? Jeez, that is quick. All right, so let's see here. How do we want to do this? Um, all right, first things first, we're going to move the lean-to. And by move, I mean destroy and rebuild somewhere else. Uh, gather up all the stuffs. Oh, score. Had enough room for everything. Okay. So that's all that. Um, I think we're going to build... I think we're going to build a platform here. Yeah. Alright, so let's... Here we go. Let's lay out some foundation pieces. Um... Do I want one wide or two wide? This is going to be difficult with that roasting pit in the way. I might have to move that real quick, but I don't have enough space. Uh, oh, pebble got stuck there. You know what? Let's... Uh, where'd it go? There we go. Let's put that down. And let's put some things away. Oh, no. Keep those. Alright. Uh, no, I want to keep the food on me. Uh, so, the ants will attack anything that has food on in it, uh, if it's a container. So I don't want to leave food on the ground. I don't mind putting the food up here in a container because, you know, they can't really get to it that easily. But having it on the ground is not going to be the easiest thing to deal with. And I think, I think we're going to do it right here. So I'm a little weird about my placement of structures. I like, I like them to make sense if that does... Uh, I'm about to ask you if that makes sense. Does my saying it makes sense make sense to anybody? Ah, weird. Weird alliteration, I guess. Am I using that word right? Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. I don't want to use a ton of weed stems because I don't have an insect axe yet. And because I don't have an insect axe, I can only chop down dandelions. And because I can only chop down dandelions, I'm limited on how much uh, wood I can gather. And since it's just me playing, and I'm playing solo, uh, it's going to be a little while before we get a insect axe. 
because I, I do not feel up to attacking a ladybug just yet. Alright. Uh, there's some more dandelions, so let's go gather a little bit more. How many do I need? Two, four, six. Okay, I need one. One dandelion. Uh, this one, I think. Oh, grab those clovers. Alright, and I definitely don't want to destroy that, because renewable wood is going to be a very valuable thing. Five. I'll have to come back for that one. Uh, so I definitely want to get some ant armor. Ant armor will d allow me to carry a lot more. And since I plan on doing a lot of random little builds here or there throughout the map, having more carry capacity is going to make that a lot easier. And I'm also realizing that the amount of stuff that I want to build, I can easily just do this channel with nothing but, hey, let's go and build this. Um, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I, I like the idea of doing just a Let's Play video. Uh, but if that's something that people would be interested in, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll start a separate game. Uh, I don't know, maybe in creative or something like that to just do base building or hey, here's how we can do this kind of base. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd think. So I know I gathered a whole bunch of grass earlier, but I'm realizing I'm going to need a lot more than I had already gathered. So we're going to end up needing to gather some more, so I'm just simplifying the process. All right, get some more floors going. Hmm. All right, so this is going to be our way in right here. So let's get a wall. Oh, that's awesome. That didn't used to be a thing. Uh, before, the wall would kind of clip through things. So like you can see here, we're going to use this leaf, which is on a sprig that cannot be cut down, kind of as a natural ladder. And we'll hop up to this one, and then hop in right here. Oh, I wonder. Is there... Oh, there is. Oh, that's just going to make this nice. Alright, uh, we're going to put... No more. All right, we'll place this one, then go and get some more from our pallet over here. I'm realizing now that the pallet probably should have been placed a little bit closer, but that's all right. I still don't want the video to be ridiculously long. So I I I just found out like yesterday how to well, not yesterday. I, I found out uh, a few days ago how to do time lapse footage. So So I will likely do some sped up coverage of this going forward. I think that looks nice. Then we'll do a second floor. All right. keep mistiming that jump, or I'm jumping so high that I'm hitting that leaf up above. Uh, what do we want to do here? Yeah, that'll do. So 
So I'm definitely going to need more grass. Uh, and we're going to need more weed stems. Three, four... Five and six. All right, so I think what we'll do is we will finish this layer of the house. I'll put a roof on it, and then we'll call it a day here. Um, I don't really, like, I, like I've been saying, I don't want this video to be super long, so we're going to aim for the 20-minute mark like always. Don't fall in the water, don't fall in the water. Okay, good. So in, in one of the games I've played with my friends, I cut that one down, and it fell into the water uh, over there, and we lost half of the wood that would have been gathered from it, and that was very annoying because we were still early into the game. We had not gathered an insect axe or anything like that, so... The fact that we lost a whole bunch of wood was very annoying to us, because we were trying to build a camp, and um, where did we build it in that one? I think we were building on top of the baseball? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was the baseball. So we were building on top of the baseball, and things, I, I guess the easiest way to describe it is things went awry. It, it did not work out that great. The baseball is... I've, I've tried a couple of times to build on top of it, and it is just so annoying to get it to accept where things are going to get placed. Like, you build a platform up there, and that places, but you can't put a grass floor on it because it's just a little bit too close to the baseball. It's, it's very odd. Ground move? Alright. Okay. Think that's gonna be enough for the time being. So I do like that you can plot out the build, see what it's going to look like before gathering the resources and going to put it together. I also like that you can just walk through the walls before they're fully built. Another clover. Am I just cutting clovers and leaving them, or bugs just knocking them down? I know I've seen ladybugs just walk right through things before. Uh, if it looks like I'm sprinting everywhere I go, that's because I am. I'm trying to exhaust my stamina to get the assorted mutations faster. Um, now, I could do that on camera, just you know, sprinting around everywhere until I get the mutation, but I feel like that would be a little bit boring to watch. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Alright. Um, so I've had odd luck with the triangle floors at the top of stairs in the past. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, I definitely need to cut down more grass. <sighs> I miss the insect axe from my multiplayer playthroughs with my friends. <sighs> uh, 
five. I also missed the ant armor. There's a full set of ant armor. You're carrying eight pieces. Okay, cool. Looks like they fixed that. That's nice. Okay. Uh, before I build the roof here, I'm just going to drop all the stuff that I've gathered right in the center room there. And hopefully this will be enough to put a temporary roof over my head. I think I'm going to go... Hmm. Two, maybe three floors. Yeah, let's go let's go two proper floors and then an attic. That works. Alright. Got a couple more here, and I know I've got at least two more on the pallet. Yeah, I can see them from here. So I'm gonna drop these, go get the ones off the pallet, circle back around, get the other two. And then we'll put that floor in. Grab a couple things of sap. I think sap respawns faster now. Uh, I didn't use to spawn that fast. I know I gathered some uh, before I slept and made it day again. So I don't know if anyone else is like this. To me, uh, the floor has to all be facing the same way, or it just looks weird. Four, five pieces left. Alright. So now we've got a roof over our heads. Oh. Oh, that was actually perfect. Exactly the right amount of grass pieces that I needed. All right. Um, so I think this is where we're going to leave it off. Uh, off camera, I'm going to put in a lean-to and a roasting pit in this area uh, just to kind of make it a little bit nicer. While on, you know what? While on camera, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put the light sources. Just kind of right there. It should be enough to light up the whole room. Uh, oh, I've got enough sap. Awesome. Alright, so off camera I will put together the rest of the room. Uh, I'm not going to put a door on it because I don't think that's necessary given how it's designed. So off camera I'll populate the room with some storage and a few things that are going to be needed. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, have a good day, everyone. If you like what you saw, leave a like and, like and comment down below. Subscribe for future content. Go ahead and hit that bell icon if you really like what you see and you want to see it the same, see it immediately upon being uploaded. Uh, this is CS the Viking Gamer signing off. Remember, victory or Valhalla.